Hello friends and welcome again to the Brilliancy Point. This is the second part of the video in which we are discussing how to calculate the capital contribution that is the capital to be brought in or paid by the continuing partners at the time of retirement of a partner. Now I have taken up another question in this video which is very different from the previous question. This is a different case where we have to calculate uh, the adjustment in a different way because the information given is in a different manner. Let us begin with the question. So there are three partners Sanjay, Mayank and Tejas and Mayank is retiring on 1st April and on the date of retirement of Mayank there are capital balances of all the three partners given in the question as 1,96,500, 1,98,000 and 91,500 respectively. And it is said that total capital of the reconstituted firm is to be adjusted by bringing in or paying amount so that the future capital of Sanjay and Tejas be in their profit sharing ratio. Now this profit sharing ratio is obviously the new profit sharing ratio. But we are not given with the new profit sharing ratio. So we will consider the old ratio as the new ratio. This is the principle that we follow. Right. Now how is this question different from the previous question? If you remember in the previous question there was a line that the amount to be paid to the retiring partner it is to be paid by the remaining partners that is by David and Aslam. The amount to be paid to Naresh it was to be paid by David and Aslam. This line was mentioned but in this question nothing is mentioned about paying to the retiring partner. It is not mentioned how the retiring partner is to be paid. Is he to be paid in cash or not? And if it, he is to be paid in cash, whether it is to be contributed by the remaining partners or uh, whether it is to be paid out of the cash and bank balance of the firm, nothing is given. So what do we consider? If nothing is given about the settlement of the account of retiring partner, by default, we consider the capital balance of the retiring partner as as a loan to the firm right so in this case no cash is to be paid to the retiring partner the balance of retiring partners capital account will be considered as a loan now tell me if uh, the retiring partners capital balance is considered as a loan what will be the entry the entry will be retiring partners capital account debit to retiring partners loan account that is Mayang's capital account debit to Mayang's loan account. So in this case, the capital account of the remaining or the continuing partners, it is not coming into picture. It is not affected, right? Which means that the total capital of the remaining partners, it will remain the same. Now let us begin with the solution. So I have already created the table for you and it is very easy. You have to create four columns one column for particulars, one for total and the remaining two columns for the continuing partners that is Sanjay and Tejas. And in the first row we will write the adjusted capital of the partners. So what is the adjusted capital of Sanjay? It is 1,96,500. And adjusted capital of Tejas? It is 91,500. So what is the total capital? Total capital of the firm will be the addition of these two capital, which is 2,88,000. Now, you must be wondering that why didn't we take the column for retiring partner? So, the logic I have already explained in the previous video, but I'll tell again it is because the retiring partner is going out of the firm. So, when we calculate the new capital of the firm or the capital of the reconstituted firm then the retiring partner won't have any stake or any share in the new capital and that is why there is no need to create the column for retiring partner. Now let us move to the second step. The second step is to calculate the additional capital. So in previous question the additional capital was the total amount to be paid to the retiring partner. And why was it considered as an additional capital? Because in that question, it was said that the amount to be paid to the retiring partner was to be paid by the remaining partners, which means that remaining partners will bring in new cash in the firm. And when they will bring new cash in the firm, 
then it will increase their capital right but in this question as i already explained you that the capital balance of retiring partner is considered as a loan which means that the capital of remaining partners it won't be affected because they are not bringing any cash they are not uh, because they are not bringing any cash to pay the retiring partner so it will not increase their capital which means that the total capital of the uh, remaining partners their total capital will remain the same there will be no change because they are not bringing anything they are not bringing any cash so the total capital of the reconstituted firm will remain the same that is 288000 now this total capital of the new firm that is 288000 it will be divided in the ratio 4 is to 2 so sanjay's share will be equal to 4 by 6 of 288000 which is equal to 192000 and tejas share will be equal to 2 by 6 of 2 lakh 88000 which is 96000 now if you see the adjusted capital which is the existing capital of the partners it is different but the required capital as per the profit sharing ratio the required capital of the partners in the reconstituted firm it is different so the difference amount it has to be adjusted it has either to be brought in or to be paid now let us look at sanjay his adjusted capital is 196500 but the new capital means the capital which is required it is 192000 so there is excess capital of sanjay yeah there is excess capital in sanjay's account which has to be withdrawn and since this amount has to be withdrawn we will put it into brackets because the formula is new capital minus adjusted capital and new capital is less adjusted capital is more so he has to withdraw them how much he has to withdraw 196500 minus 192000 which is 4500 similarly tejas adjusted capital is less and required capital is more so he will have to bring in new capital in the form of cash so it will be 4500 positive because new capital minus adjusted capital which is 4500 so what will be the journal entries the first entry will be uh, the withdrawal of capital by sanjay so that will be sanjay's capital account debit to to cash account and what will be the amount amount will be 4500 similarly second entry will be for tejas tejas is bringing in new cash so it will increase his capital so the entry will be cash account debit to tejas capital account and the amount will be again 4500 so with this we come to the end of the question i hope you understood this question very well and if you did please don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel for more such videos